All right, let's set up your first sketchbook. Make sure that you are on the front cover of the sketchbook and you have the sewing over here to the left. The first thing we do with our sketchbooks is always make sure that our name is in the lower right hand corner and our class period. So I'll do that real quick. Okay, next, let's go ahead and turn the page over here. We're gonna set up our bell work page and the bell work page, most of the pages will start with a slim little heading space up here at the top. So you take your ruler and you need just, you know, maybe a fingernails width um, up at the top. Draw a line like that. I'm gonna pull the ruler down just a little bit and draw another line. Okay, just making sure that they're relatively even but they don't have to be perfect. The next line we're going to draw is a vertical line. I'm going to line it up with the side over here and just use the width of the ruler for how big I need it to be. Next, it's time to label. This is your bell work page, B-E-L-L-W-O-R-K. Over here, we will write the date, D-A-T-E. And then over in the larger space, you're going to be writing your response to the bell work prompts. So we're going to write the word response, R-E-S-P-O-N-S-E, -S -E, right here. That's your bell work page. Next, on the back side of the bell work page, you're going to make your terms page. Your terms page will be set up uh, exactly the same as your bell work page, where you'll have a little heading line up here, and then you're going to have another line right underneath, and I'm just kind of looking through, and then I'll go over and again just use the width of the ruler to create this other column. So for our terms, we'll write terms, T E R M S. Over here, we're going to write the term, so term, E R M, so T E R M. And then over here, we're going to write the definition of the term. So definition is D E F I N I T I O N. And so that's where what we'll do. And so as you take notes through our class, um, some of them will go in here so that you have a sort of list of art terms and their definitions. Next, we're going to start setting up the sketchbook for the different practices that you're going to do for your first project and then also your best work critique. Some of the stuff is going to be um, mooshed in a little weirdly and it's just because I want to make the best use of space. So our first one right here, you need to draw a little line up at the top just the same as before. I'm just lining it right up with this terms line and it'll go straight across like this. This one is for generic proportions. So let's scoot this in, so you can see. So it's for generic facial proportions, which is spelled generic, G-E-N-E-R-I-C, facial, F-A-C-I-A-L, and then proportions, P-R-O-P-R-O-T-I-O-N-S. And we'll do some um, drawing here with the unit that we're going to be working on. So this is what your pages should look like so far. Next, we're going to set up for the best work critique. We're not gonna fill it all in. You'll be able to fill that in um, when we're ready to do the best work critique. But for right now, you need a little bar for a heading over here on this left side, just like that. And then we're going to divide this space into three mm, relatively even chunks. So I'm just gonna go down and approximate when I've gotten down to about a third. You're welcome to measure this, but it isn't necessary for them to be exactly the same or perfect, just close. Over there, whoops, I got it over a little bit. That's okay. And then over here on our other side, 
we're just going to draw one more line. So when you do your best work critique, this is where um, you'll be writing the questions for the critique and then the other, your peers will come in and they will be writing in these other sections and then this is for processing when we're done. But for right now, you're just going to write best work critique up here at the top. So B E S T work W O R K and then critique C R I T I Q U E. So best work critique right here. And then we're just going to leave them blank for right now um, because that's fine. So our next thing that we're going to make is some little spaces for some timed drawings that you're going to do. So we're going to set up um, two pages with timed drawings. So up here at the top we're making our little heading. The same little heading we've done before. And then we're going to do the dividers for these ones about halfway down. So you'll have one, two, three, four sections. Mm, let me go up. So sorry about that. Um, so I'm going to go just like this. And then my ruler isn't quite long enough, so I'll just scoot it out and do that just like this. So this is your timed drawings. T-I-M-E-D, drawings, D-R-A-W-I-N-G-S. Okay, so we're going to do that for here, and then turn the page, and you're going to do four more, but I'm not going to create another heading. I'm just going to section it up so that we don't have to take out the rulers again when it's time to do it for the project. Okay, so we have those there. So we have eight little sections to do timed drawings. And then we're going to go over here and make another little heading. So up at the top, this one is called Draw Your Neighbor, D-R-A-W. Y O U R and then neighbor N E I G H B O R. Draw your neighbor. So that's your next section that we're going to do in here. And then the last one, but maybe not the last thing we'll do in this sketchbook, but the last one that I have planned right now at this time is your facial feature practice. So we'll draw a little line up here and then about halfway through you will draw a vertical line and then about halfway through you will draw a horizontal line. And here we will call this features F E A T U R E S. And we'll do the rest of the setup for it as we go. So if there's any more, we still have a couple of pages. Um, you will be adding, I think, extra pages to this sketchbook. So, all right, guys, thanks.